Welcome back everybody, this is always back with another video on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be talking about macOS Big Sur in this video. So I am a professional software engineer and I use Mac for all my development. So I actually updated my MacBook Pro to the latest version of macOS, which is macOS Big Sur, as you can see on my screen. Now, I updated it like a couple of days ago and I've been using it. It seems to be working fine, but I wasn't doing much in the last two days. So what I've realized uh, today is there's a lot of bugs in it and there's a lot of application they are not performing very well. So I use IntelliJ, pretty much all my development are done in IntelliJ, it's WebStorm, Python, well, IntelliJ, if it's Java. And also some other applications like a better touch tool, which is like a, you know, a tool to, you know, add some shortcut keys and it gives you a lot more customization. Uh, and then also use screen flow, which I'm right now using to record this video. Okay. So there's a lot of softwares that I use and I've been trying to use them. Now, just to show you guys on my screen right now, you might be thinking this is basically a, a, a background or an image well it's actually not if I just you know show you all my virtual desktops here you can see this is the desktop that I've selected and on the top here the background is the default wallpaper comes with the Mac OS but when I look at it it's got some black marks as you can see somewhere here let me bring this up so you see this here there's some sort of issues there now also if i take a look at my external drive which is connected to mac it's not able to read the name and this is like a weird thing that i just noticed while i'm creating this video and also with intellij the performance is is not that great anymore intellij is my favorite ide and it was working fine on mac OS catalina i understand that this uh mac OS is is basically a beta version that the bug is going to be in this one but I wasn't expecting this public beta to have these many bugs there's a lot of application not working a better touch tool so I'm just gonna bring this one up now I can't use that so I click on this better touch tool and I want to show you the customization that I had and for some reason they got out from this uh, always coding and I had to change the profile and the profile itself is just not working and I was able to use this, this application perfectly fine on uh, Mac OS Catalina and anybody is willing to upgrade their Mac OS do it if you have a separate MacBook Pro I really like the design I really like this you know a notification panel I like the how the finder is looking I like all pretty much everything that I you know in terms of UI, it's pretty nice. There's a lot of things that has changed and it looks much nicer. But this is not what you want to upgrade to right now until Apple uh, brings up the, the proper stable version of Mac OS Big Sur. I'm going to revert this computer back to Catalina because I use this computer professionally and I do all my coding uh, on MacBook Pro. So this is basically, this was a mistake to actually upgrade. I can't tell you how many weird things that I have seen while using this. Uh, even the weirdest code is a bit weird. I was working fine, but today I'm feeling like, you know, it would crash for no reason. Uh, the, the extension I was trying to install wouldn't work. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this version. But performance, I think, are a bit better. Like, the things open quicker, but they don't perform. Uh, they do perform, but they're not stable as they are on uh, macOS Catalina. If you're a professional software engineer, I would highly recommend that do not upgrade your macOS to macOS Big Sur if you're a professional and you, you're basically your job is to, you are, to use the computer. Uh, do not upgrade to Big Sur. Wait until the proper stable version is out. I recently uh, reached up to 100K, uh, which was amazing. Thank you so much. Alright, thanks for watching and that was a quick video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.